Um, so we've got two examples here that we're going to use the limit comparison test combined with the P-series test. Um, in this case, I have, a, I have a series that looks very similar to a P-series with the exception of this plus one here, right? So what P-series do you think this is going to behave like? Yeah, this is going to behave like the sum of 1 over n squared. And in this case, this is a P-series with P equal to what? And since P equals 2, what's going to happen with this series? It's, this is going to converge. So this is going to be our known series in, in our limit comparison test here. All right, so we're going to use this as our B sub n. This is going to be our A sub n. And what we want to look at then is the limit as n approaches infinity of the unknown series over the known series. We know this one converges. And if we've chosen wisely, this limit is going to be a finite constant. And so we're going to be able to conclude that this converges also. All right, so how would I evaluate this limit? Yeah, I would multiply by the reciprocal. Um, right now we have 0 over 0, right, if we tried to use direct substitution. And so that tells me L'Hopital's rule might be in play, although I want to simplify this fraction first. That's a complex fraction. I don't like it. So we're going to look at the limit as n approaches infinity of... Well, it ends up being n squared over n squared plus 1. We still need to use L'Hopital's rule here, right? Or we could use the tricks that we learned early on in the year. Um, what, what's going to end up happening here? What do we get? Yeah, this is going to be 1. Because the degree on top is the same as the degree on the bottom, we can just divide the leading coefficients. We get 1 over 1. And so the, the limit as n approaches infinity of these terms compared to these terms is going to be 1. The ratio of these two is 1. So what does that mean? Yeah, so therefore, by the limit comparison test, For me, yes. For the AP test, I would be a little more specific. So by the limit comparison test, I'm going to put in parentheses here, P series with P equal 2. So we know what we're comparing it to. So we compared it with the P series with P equal 2. Um, the series... Converges. So this series is going to behave like the harmonic series. And so to figure that out, what we want to do is we just want to look at the dominant term in the numerator and the denominator. So this series is actually going to behave like the harmonic series, but double that. Here, let me... I'm sorry, I kind of skipped over a step there. It's going to behave like this series, 2n over n squared, which is going to be the same thing as 2 times the harmonic series. And if we take 2 times a series that we already know diverges, it's still going to diverge, right? So this 2, this constant here, doesn't change the convergence or divergence of the series. So this series, we're going to use the p-series test here. So what is p equal? 1. So since p equals 1, we know this is going to diverge. And so let's just take this limit and see if we chose wisely here. So we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the known series 2n plus 5 over n squared minus 2n plus 11 divided by the harmonic series. Now, we could use 2 over n here. I'm just going to use 1 over n um, because if you remember the limit comparison test, that limit doesn't have to equal 1. It just has to equal any constant. So 
our limit here that we're going to get is going to be off by some constant, but it's still going to it's still going to work out for us. Um, again, we have a complex fraction here, so let's simplify that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So we'll have the limit as n approaches infinity of 2n plus 5 times n over n squared minus 2n plus 11. And so the, the numerator here, that's going to be 2n squared plus 5n. So what's this limit going to equal? It's going to be 2. Again, uh, the, the degree on top is the same as the degree on the bottom. We could use L'Hopital's rule here. We could use the tricks that we've learned. Um, degrees are the same, so we just divide leading coefficients. And so that limit's going to be 2. Since the limit is a finite constant that's not equal to 0, we know that this series and this series are going to behave the same way. They're both going to converge or they're both going to diverge. Since this one diverges, then what do we know about this one? It also diverges. So I'm going to write this a slightly different way. Since the harmonic series diverges by the P-series test, with p equal to 1, the series diverges by what? 